In this video I will show you how to put together one of these Christmas tag boxes. There are six in this set. Um, these are SVG files from Simply Crafty SVGs. So I decided to finally make it just a quick video for my tag, my Christmas tag box set. So there's six different designs and you'll see them in the corner above. So there's a uh, six different designs that you can cut out. They're super easy. What's nice is that I made them like little tags you can put on boxes, but they can hold some candy. So it opens like that on the back. I have a little fuzzy on there. And um, you can just put some Christmas candies, like I put little uh, mint bells in, and, uh, and then close it up and it doubles as a little quick gift. Uh, I'm going to have to angle it in just because of the thickness of it. Anyway, this is it. And you can add a little tag on the back. Or you could add a little, uh, like, a other die cut or something like that. But they're super easy. So this is, these are three of them. So I just cut out three. So I uh, said if you saw all six of them, it's a super simple box to put together. And you could put a bunch of them together before you actually do the top part. And I'll explain in just a minute here. So now we have these pieces. So each one will have this, this, and an optional uh, tag. So I just used my uh, Cricut to write to and from a Merry Christmas with a pen. Um, or you could just put a blank one and write your own message on the back. Or nothing. Or you could do something like this. So just to give you an idea. So to put it together, like I said, it's super simple. Just make sure you, these are folded well. So you want to make sure it's good and folded first. So we can close it and everything and glue it properly. This will have to be a valley fold. This I would do a mountain fold like that and then fold it back like that. <clears throat> and then we can go ahead and add these two panels. So this just goes centers around the cut. If you wanted to, too, you could use, if you wanted vellum for some reason, behind here, a clear vellum, or not vellum, acetate, uh, you could always cut out this and, out of acetate if that's what you wanted. But I just assumed it would be for, like, little wrapped candies or something like that. It could be for uh, Ghirardelli, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm, I picked this one to do because it has a little bit more sharp edges on the cut. It's probably the sharpest one for the Christmas tree. And like I said, it's super simple. It was meant to be a file that uh, you could just do a bunch of them at once. So I'm just going to put this on the back. So that's what comes with each of them. And to close them up, this is where if you wanted to do a bunch at once, what I would do is just do this, this part where you add glue to the side tab. Or you could use an adhesive too, a, a, a tape adhesive. That would work quite well uh, for a lot of them if you have that instead. Because these are really meant to be just little gift boxes to put on a, a package. So that look like a, a tag and can focus as a tag. So if you want to do a bunch of them and didn't want to glue them together yet, you could do them all like this and glue them flat. But once you glue the tops, which will glue these together right here, then it won't flatten. So just to let you know, but if you have a whole bunch you want to make, that's probably what I'd do and just do this last. So we'll assume we're to that point. We're just going to add glue to one side here up here about the fold. And line them up so the holes match and the edges and all that fun stuff. Now it resembles, it has a little tag top, and all the tag tops are slightly different. Some of them are the same. I think that there's a couple different ones. Um, make sure you get that glued well. And then for me, I just added a piece of twine, but you could use ribbon or something like that for the top. If you wanted to tie it onto the package, whatever package it was, or even if you just wanted to give this with like a card or something like that, 
So that, and then um, I'll show you, let me get some candy to put in that. So the bottom doesn't have to be glued, it just goes in and out. So here I just have some uh, little Hershey Kiss bell things. So I'm just going to put them in there. You could put like three or four, I flip them around so tops are showing. That's it. So be nice. Nice way to tag a box where they get like a little gift of some sort with it. And then you just push that in like that. So I have them a little bit kind of tight in there, but you get the idea. So there's three of them. It said it comes with six designs. I've never done a little quick video on this, so I just thought I'd do that. Um, if you do like this project, please give me a little thumbs up. And thanks for watching.